Hey everybody, final thoughts time for Murano, which uh, is a really, really cool game. Uh, very, very enjoyable. Uh, Inc. is a market brand. They seem to be establishing themselves as a couple of designers who know what they're doing. And uh, yeah, I gotta say, I mean, you know, Jen, I really like this. For us, this is definitely a keeper. Um, because it, it, it's just, the, the gameplay mechanisms come together in a very, very satisfying way. I, you, know, you get a few objectives up front, you work hard to achieve them, you score a lot of points. Obviously, Jen is very, very drawn to the subject matter because she herself is a glass artist. And we've actually been to the island of Murano in real life. And so, uh, you know, the notion of, you know, Jen loves being able to get special power cards or her own glass studio and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, it's, 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 it's thematically strong and evocative. You know, everything that, you know, all the cards make sense for what they do. And uh, about the only thing I, I would, the, the only thing that gives me any kind of hesitation about this game is that it can be, if players want to be, very, very cutthroat. Surprisingly so. In fact, the first time we played this, we played this at Essen as a three-player game with Ryan Metzler. And Jen walked away from this game so frustrated because um, there were so many opportunities. Mean, she just got blocked left, right, and center. Um, you know, sometimes knowingly on purpose. Sometimes, you know, she had no idea it was coming and, um, you, know, you know, completely destroyed all of her plans. It's very, very easy for players to mess with each other in this game if they want to. Jen, I have found, is a two-player game. The board's fairly wide open enough, but um, no, but the game doesn't suffer for being wide open, that we can play a friendly game. And if ever I'm going to make a move and try to do something, you know, Jen and I, you know, we're, we're hair pairs, and she'll say, wait, 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 I really need to do that. Do you really need to do that right now? Or could you do the other one? Like, oh, okay, yeah, I'll do the other one. Um, you know, we found that unlike some games where, you know, if you're not playing super aggressive, you're really kind of not playing the game the way it was meant to be played. Here, it, it, the game feels like, even though it's, it's so, you know, cutthroat, that we aren't really missing out. Because every time you move one of these gondolas, so many opportunities open up. There's such a cascade effect as, um, you know, the, the space behind it and the space behind that and the space behind that suddenly becomes interesting and viable. That, you know, even, um, you know, that it's, it's reasonable to say, okay, well, I'll build it that spot and there that spot because I know you need it really bad. And hey, you know what? If I build it this spot, it'll do this other really cool thing for me. Um, you know, that's really a nice thing. Often, when we find a game that, well, we, re we really like the game and we don't want to play it cutthroat, but then suddenly the game just kind of falls apart. It, you know, the systems don't work anymore because it was designed, it was because if you don't make your cutthroat moves, you're making actively bad moves. You're making poor decisions. In this game, you know, if, if you don't want to go cutthroat, it's still a good decision because there's still equally valid reasons to, to make the nice move instead of the mean move. There's also, interestingly, uh, there's a lot of, you know, potential for randomness in this game as well because, you know, a lot of the times, you know, drawing the right palace or the right shops, like, oh, please, oh, please, oh, please. But the game is great in that it lets you mitigate that by paying for it. If you want to guarantee you get the shop you need, just pay two extra bucks and you can guarantee it. The same is true for streets as well. I mean, I talked about it a bit in the extended where you can get in a situation where, oh, I so desperately need a blue, I desperately need a blue, oh, a gray, ah! You can mitigate that too because when you build, you can build up to three tiles. Well, crap, you didn't get the street you wanted? Well, draw another and hopefully you'll get that blue you need. Ah, another gray, that's ridiculous. And you'll know, put it off on some other island and then come on, three times a charm and hey, I got the blue I needed, hooray. And now unfortunately, that means my entire turn was spent just building streets and I didn't actually get to build any buildings. But the important thing was I was able to build that blue street where I needed it and so I'll be able to complete that objective. So, um, you know, I, I think the game has a lot of you know, fun, oh, very, very nervous. And, you know, plus there are so many objectives in this game and so many interesting powers. Every time you play, it's going to go very differently. And I'm so happy, I'm very happy to report that you can win this game hardly ever chasing glass production at all. And you'll just focus entirely on other avenues. In fact, I mean, I did beat Jen one time. Jen always makes lots of glass in this game, not surprisingly. But, you know, there are a lot of valid paths to victory, a lot of valid strategies. And I, I guess more than anything else uh, for us, the important thing is you can play a cutthroat, but you really don't have to. And if you choose not to, you don't feel like you're making stupid moves. You can still feel like you're making good, solid, strategic moves. And that's why it's a keeper for us. That's Murano. Okay, folks, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, as always, let me know. If you noticed any mistakes, please point them out. Unless, of course, they've already been noted, in which case, don't need to point them out because Paulo already caught them, as he usually does. And otherwise, that's it, folks. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. So long. Bye-bye. Ciao.